What's up guys, welcome back to the Pokemon Y Chain Mono Lock. In the last episode, we took on uh, the scientists in Lysander's lab. Uh, today, we are going to be taking on the final scientist, getting the elevator key, uh, heading down the elevator, hopefully getting the GS into town, taking care of business. Probably not, because with our luck, we're going to have a bunch of battles that are going to take 12 years. So, uh, we're just going to jump into this episode. I'm actually going to uh, switch up our team real quick. I'm going to... I'm gonna let Stink take care of business, just because Stink can take, you know, kick everything's ass, so hopefully things aren't gonna, ha hopefully nothing bad's gonna happen. Um, you know, uh, things have not been going too swell in this series. Um, I've also tried to start a recording twice now, and for some reason my computer decided it wanted to crash both times, so I'm really, I don't know what's going on right now. I'm really sad. I'm just over it. There's a ground on my screen. I'm gonna scream. I'm gonna level with you guys. There have just been so many legendaries everywhere. Um... I managed to get to this room. I had to take on a Team Rocket Grunt. Or not Team Rocket Grunt, Team Flare Grunt. Surprise, surprise. Uh, the fucker had a um, Heatran, so I had to take care of that. But I've taken on so many uh, Flare Grunts who just drag out the video by having annoying Pokemon that for some reason my team can't hit that I just needed to get it over with. Like, there's been, there's been so many occasions where we run into a bunch of Pokemon that we don't need to be fighting. Um, or trainers that we don't need to be fighting. Like, the Team Flare Grunts, the fact that you have to fight almost... There's probably, like, two or three... Like, one or two Team Flare Grunts in this, like, specific area that you don't have to fight. And every single other... Or every other one has... Like, you have to fight has, like, one or two Pokemon. All of them have somehow been randomized into Pokemon that can't just be one-shotted. Despite us being like 10 levels ahead of them, because, you know, why not? And, uh, yeah, it's been a great time. There's a golem. All right. That's not what I want to see, to be honest with you guys. Um, I want to go into Wendy, but I also want to go into Atlas. But Atlas, I feel like it'll get... I feel like Atlas is going to get Earthquake, but I'm going to risk it for the biscuit and just hope and pray that nothing bad's about to happen. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. Let's hope that's going to be the case, because I might scream otherwise. This golem's level 52. There's no reason for me to have problems with it. Unless it decides to EQ me and kill. Okay, there it is. And it does over half. Alright, we're going. Alright, Wendy was the better choice. Good to know. That's very good to know. Alright. Wendy, can you eat this? I don't know if Wendy's defenses are better or not. Let's find out. I mean, she... Oh, that was a crit. Okay. I hate crits, dude. There's just... There's been so many crits in this game. It's just like... It's, it's it's insane. It's insane. How often I just, like, have to stall out. Uh, okay. Just explode. Fine. Whatever. Don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Swallowed. Perfect. Good job, Wendy. I'm proud of you. Now, she started off with a Groudon, and then she had a Golem that decided it wanted to blow up. What else could you possibly have? A Galalee. Oh boy, okay. Um, I don't want to go into Sting because it probably has something to hurt me, like, really badly. I'm not feeling that. Um, I'll stay in with Wendy. That's all I can do. Alright, um, let's heal up. Now, this thing obviously probably has an ice side move. So, it probably also has, like, Crunch. There it is. Yeah. And uh, we're going to just have to play our cards right in this situation. It, my defense didn't go down. That's good. Um, I'm just going to Psychic it. Crunch, how do you outspeed me? Is Glalie that fast? Is Glalie that fast a Pokemon? I know Frostlass is fast, but I would never... I would never imagine that uh, Glalie is as well. That or Meloetta is just slow. I guess we'll figure that out. But I don't think Meloetta is that slow. But I mean, hey, it is what it is. Crunch... I think my def did my my defense didn't get lowered. Okay, we're fine. Awesome. I somehow didn't get my defense lowered once in that situation. Well, there's time for it to lower my defense now, I guess. There it is. Fuck. All right. Well, as long as you don't have any other physical attackers, it's fine then, I suppose. But uh, if you could just not have any more annoying Pokemon, that would be greatly appreciated. Guard swap, mailman. That's not the move for you, my dude. Um, yes, give up on learning guard swap. A Mian Chow, okay. Um, that's not what I want to be fighting right now. I'm gonna level with you guys. 
I'm gonna go into Sting, just cause Sting gonna eat the hits. I'm gonna try to heal up uh, Alice and Wendy, and we're gonna see how it goes. But yeah, um, I just don't. I don't know what. That's not what I meant to do. I did not mean to do that. That that was a mistake. But you know what? Health is health. I'll take what I can get. It's gonna hit a high jump kick. All right. Well, whatever. Um, let's heal up. Let's heal up Wendy first. Wendy should be fun. And then I'll heal up Atlas. I mean, I might as well heal both of them. But at first, I'm going to heal up Sting. Just because with my luck, either I'm down enough to be killed or I'll get critted. So, and Mian Xiao is just not a friend of ours, apparently. Because this game hates us. And like, Mian Xiao's apparent, like, Mian Xiao's become one of my worst enemies now. I don't know why. It's just like, Mian Xiao's just such a useless Pokemon. It's just one of those Pokemon that's just so forgotten. That like, I, I, now that it has caused me pain, I hate it. I just hate it. I don't know why. It's really sad. Because I've never really much, had much problem with Mian Xiao, but apparently it's a little bitch. So that's good to know. Sing, just kill it. There we go. Get it over with. I just want this episode to be... A, do you have a focus sash? Are you... Why, how how did this thing get randomized with a focus sash? How? I don't think... Unless she has a Pokemon that usually has a focus sash, there's no reason this thing had a focus sash. But whatever. 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 You know, we ran into a freaking sticky barb waylord that killed my, uh, my Crawdont, so whatever. Apparently, uh, a Hoopa. A Hoopa. <sighs> I don't know. I still don't know if this Hoopa is a dark type or a f ghost type. I think it's a ghost type, so I'm going to use round just to figure it out. Let's see if round... Okay, you are a ghost type. Well, that's annoying, but I kind of have to go into Wendy because I have no other choice. Because... Uh, this thing probably has Shadow Ball, and nobody else is going to take that. So let's just try to lower its defenses. No, no luck. All right, I'm going to get my defenses lowered before I lower its defenses. I already know that. Because that's just what happens in this series, apparently. Because, you know, I don't deserve the good luck. RNG. RNG has just found so many different ways to bite me in the ass in this game. I've had, you know, I've had... So many legendaries pop up in this game. I've had so many times where there's literally a, like probably two or three Pokemon that I can't fight with how my team is at a certain point. And those are the Pokemon that I end up fighting. We had the RNG with the double battle. She has a Zapdos, dude. Are you kidding me? Are you serious, dude? Come on. Come on now. There is no need for this, dude. I'm gonna go into Sting, just because Sting is like my only real option. This game, dude. This game, the 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 way it managed to randomize is just absolutely bonkers, dude. Three three of her Pokemon, half of her team, got ran somehow managed to get randomized into legendary Pokemon. How is that possible? You had like what six seven hundred Pokemon and three of them managed to get randomized into annoying annoying fucking legendaries like what are the odds what are the chances this game drives me insane I don't know I just have the worst luck and right now what I need is I need to run into some good um Pokemon that I can catch and I don't think I've caught a Pokemon in a hot minute I don't know what route I I don't know what route I caught uh, Zwilus in but I think Zwilus was the last Pokemon I ran into I think Zwilus was the last starter I ever got or not starter uh, last encounter I got so there's that, but all right, let's get out of here. Let's go heal and uh, let's just try to make some good life choices because I'm I'm a, I'm a little over how things have been going for us so far. 
Like, unfortunately right now my team is demolished by dark types. I hate the way walking around in Lumio City is. Because it's just not... <laughs> oh, I'm tired because it's like midnight. And I am exhausted from work. But, it's just like, it's astonishing. It's astonishing how, like, the, the, the randomizer has screwed us over in this game. <laughs> It's crazy but what i was talking about was i hate the way uh you walk in lumio city because just the angling is so annoying especially with the roller skates it's impossible to roller skate around uh most of lumios because you will somehow start walking in the wrong direction because the game doesn't understand so i'm gonna i'm gonna get 40 40 hyper potions because i still have so much money um not what i wanted I have plenty of Ultra Balls, we'll be fine. Uh, now the good news is that very soon we're going to be getting our Legendary. So hopefully it's randomized into something good, because otherwise I might scream and cry. Uh, I somehow have half a team of Legendary Pokemon. All of them, unfortunately with how this, you know, with how Monolocks work, all of them are Psychic types. Doesn't work out too well. It'd be fine if I had uh, enough dual typings that I could get. Uh legendaries that are all different types but you know it is what it is a full team of psychic types is what i've got to work with right now dark types definitely screw me over and so do ghost types and bug types and uh that's not good so <sighs> i don't know what i don't know what it is i gotta do but we're gonna head over to, the good news is we're gonna be heading over to oh hey i forgot about this story terribly long time ago i'll read it because you know why not I do love the, the story of, you know, X and Y, though. So, there was a man in a Pokemon. He loved that Pokemon very much. Floet. Apparently, you were supposed to, like, get that specific Floet or something. A war began. Oh. The man's beloved Pokemon took part in the war. So, was the war just between Pokemon or... Oh, it's between humans and Pokemon. Okay, good to know. Good to know. That's barbaric. I thought we were above that. Several years passed. Oh, He was given a tiny box. That's really depressing, though. That's, like, really sad. To know that, like... Pokemon die in wars. The man wanted to bring the Pokemon back, no matter what it took. Like, there was a war, and Pokemon died in it. That's just, like, that makes me sad. Makes me a sad boy. The man built a machine to give life. I can't believe he managed to do that, like, three... 3,000 years ago? Wild. He brought his beloved Pokemon back. And then he made the mistake of being angry and killing a bunch of other Pokemon, and Floet was like, hey, buddy, uh, catch you later, because that's fucked. The man had suffered so much, his rage had still had not subsided. So the thing instead, instead of like working properly and just bringing it back to life, it made it immortal. So like, I'm assuming that's not what he wanted. He cannot forgive the world that had hurt the Pokemon he loved. So he, uh, turned his, you know, spring of life into a weapon. He turned the machine into the ultimate weapon. That's not good. That's really not good, actually. Like, he killed so many Pokemon. He did end the war, though, so I mean, I guess there's that, but it killed a lot of Pokemon. It was kind of messed up. The fact that it didn't completely destroy all of the, like, Pokemon world entirely. Interesting. The man became the bringer of destruction that ended the war. Well. <laughs> oh, I need to stop yawning. I need to wake up. But apparently the Pokemon must that was given life must have known. Known what? This is a really sad story. That the lives of many Pokemon were taken to restore its life. Oh, yeah. That's really how it be. And a Floet of all things. Floetty? Floet? I feel like it's Floet. I think that's how it's supposed to be called. I don't know. The resurrected Pokemon left the man. This is like a really... There's like some... Creepy vibes, but that's just me, buddy. So whatever. Aw. What? They're all Obam Obama Snow, Gramble, and freaking Rhydon. What? There weren't that many Groudon, Groudon, or Rhydon, Gramble, and freaking Obama Snow in that war. 
the key back. It should not be used. Everything will vanish again. Do you want to know an ending pain like I have? I guess. I still don't know his name. As, AZ, I don't know. He was a king? I don't even think they say king in that, like, entire story, so... If, if as, AZ, whatever his name is... If he's supposed to be, like, the king of the Pokemon world, like... How does, how does that work, you know? How does that... Make sense? Like... He, so what, he just stopped being king after he murdered everyone to death? Or what happened? There's a lot of story that I wish they could have explained more in X and Y. And it makes me sad that they didn't. X and Y had so much potential to make sense of everything that we learned in this game. Am I just supposed to go to freaking Geosyn's Stone now? Let's see if we're supposed to go there. Uh, let's... Alan, I need you. There we go, we're gonna fly. Do where is Geosyn's Town? Um, that's not it. Like, uh, is it here? No, it's up here. Nope, it's right here. Nope, it's not. It's right here. There we go. I'm stupid. It's insane. I don't know what's going on today, boys. I'm gonna level with you guys. I'm just like, I don't. This game driven me to insanity. I should have done more dialogue in this game. I apologize for that. I should have. I should have, uh,. You know, try to be a, a little more into the story, but this game is just like there's. If it, let's be honest, this game would dra would have dragged on so much more. Is that not where I'm supposed to go? Where am I supposed to go? Was I supposed to go find Lysander, dude? The, the way this game works, I just don't. I don't understand. I don't understand. Where was I just supposed to go back to Lysander Lab? I think I was. I it's I, I, like I said, it's been so long. Since I've played X and Y, I don't remember where I'm supposed to be going. So, am I supposed to be in Lysander Lab? Is that where I'm supposed to be? Am I supposed to still be there? Oh, I'm supposed to go to floor B3. That makes sense. I'm stupid. I'm not a smart cookie. I should have seen that coming. All right, well. Oh, God. The angling in Lumio City makes me so mad. It just makes me... It's so irritating. It doesn't... It doesn't... The camera does not work properly. That or I'm just stupid. But one of the two happens. Alright, we're gonna go down to B floor... Th or floor B3. Then we'll go to GS Inch Town. Which means GS Inch Town is gonna have to be next episode. Which means this episode is gonna be... Freaking... The most useless filler episode we will ever do. Because I just have to talk about all the dumb... I'm gonna have to fight the stupid ugly scientist. He's so ugly. He's so disgusting looking. If he's a if he ends up being a um important trainer battle, I might lose my mind. <sighs> how am I the chosen one? I don't know what I've done, dude. I don't know how this game this game just Oh, I'm gonna cry with how this game has been. Do I have to fight you first? Oh no, I do. Oh no. Don't be an important battle. Please be a useless battle. Oh no, Zerozik's such a stupid name, dude. This game has driven me to the brink of insanity. I don't know why. This game has been, this series has been so much fun, but goddamn has this, like, everything that happens in this game been so infuriating that it's just killed me on the inside, you know? It just be like that sometimes. It is what it is. <sighs> but, on the bright side, I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you are. Uh, I haven't talked a lot about, you know, how life has been lately uh, with the series. I don't know, my brain is going like autopilot mode right now. Uh, I don't know what's going on. I apologize. This episode's going to be terrible. And I apologize for everyone who's watching it right now, but... <sighs> Dude... Come on. It's just not even funny at this point. It's just not. It's, it's not. It's just not. Alright. I, I In theory, I can go into Alan. Not taking too many hits too well. I hope you don't have a Rock-type move, because Alan might die right now. If I lose my shiny Aerodactyl, I might scream. I might... I might... Just lose my mind. Ah. Versus all other Pokemon's auras. That's something uh, not too important. I'm just gonna go for the crunch and see how much it does. 
I'll go to the fly after. I didn't want to go into anybody else because this thing has thousand arrows. Uh, that's going to hurt. Okay, interesting damage. All right. Uh, this thing probably has thousand arrows and that would have hurt like a bitch. Uh, that would have probably killed Jirachi. Um, Outrage. I mean, I could have gone into Wendy because I could probably eat Outrages and Thousand Arrows, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, I'm just going to heal until this thing hits itself in confusion, and I'll go for a fly and hope for the best. But, uh, three turns of Outrage is not fun. That's definitely not fun at all. I'll level with you guys. Oh, boy. Okay, confusion. I need a drink. Yeah. Um, I know I haven't. I don't know. I've been out of it uh, for a hot minute, uh, so things have been a little interesting. Just not. I just unfortunately, with how work has gone these last like this last full month, with how my schedule worked out, with me literally only having Monday and Sunday off, like my energy has just been down and just absolutely terrible, and it sucks. But. I'm really hoping that, um, I know I've been saying this, and I know I've been talking about it, but I am fully intending, what's today? The, it's the, the, the 20th. It's 420, boys. Get lit. Uh, anywho, you know, stupidity aside, I hope, I'm hoping that I'm still gonna get, um, my Japan days off, because I want them off to actually be able to work on things and work on recording and work on bulk recording and all that without having to worry about all my energy being gone because of work. I'm basically at a point with how my job has been going lately that it's more so going to be an ultimatum of I get those two weeks off or I start looking for a new job. Um, what they don't know is I'll probably be looking for a new job one way or the other, but they don't need to know that. So, yeah. How is Luster Purge weaker than psychic like what luster purge is supposed to be your freaking best move it's supposed to be your what you call it uh it's got a name i'm gonna have a stroke over it i can't remember what it's called your signature move and like it's weaker than psychic luster purge should be luster purge should be at least nine like 95 to 100 base power Especially for a move that's only got 5 PP, it's there's no reason for it to be weaker than Psychic. That's ridiculous. Uh, now, on the off chance this Lee Vanny outspeeds me, or I miss a fly, I'm going to heal, just in case, because it'll probably kill me otherwise. Leaf Blade might hurt, actually, because that's stab, too. Lee Vanny's actually got a pretty decent attack stat. Lee Vanny's not a bad Pokemon. I'll level with you guys. I like Lee Vanny. I can get behind a Lee Vanny or two. But... I'm really, like, what I'm... Of course you have a Focus Sash, because, like, why not? Why do you have a Focus Sash? Why are there... How... How does the randomizer... How does the randomizer do this to me, dude? Focus Sash. Two Pokemon. I fought two Pokemon now this episode that have Focus Sashes. A Mian Chao and a Lee Vanny. There's no way... Because in the original games, they do not have Pokemon with Focus Sashes. They do not. I know that for a fact. So, the fact that this one did, for whatever reason, how does it manage to randomize like that? It's just... There's just so much about the randomizer, dude, that, like... Especially the Citra randomizer. I don't know how most of the Citra randomizer works, but it's, like, insan. It's, like, insanity. I don't want to lose in head, but... I was trying to say insanity, and I almost said insane. Insan? And also almost said insane. I don't know what's going on with me right now. I am all over the place. Uh, I kind of want to have psychic or cosmic power. So I really don't think I'm going to need rest all that much. I'm going to use cosmic power. I feel like cosmic power is a lot more useful. Uh, especially if I have to set up against anything. Uh, anything that's scary. So I'm sure it'll be useful to me. I'm going to go into Atlas right now actually. And hope that Atlas can put in the work. Because apparently there's so many... I don't, like, I just feel like, I just feel like these games could be so much, I feel like X and Y, specifically, can be so much more engaging if they had just played their cards right with this team. Team Flare 
sucks. Team Flare sucks and it's just terrible. It is not a good evil team. You fight so many grunts, you fight more grunts than you need to. Things just take so long to get through everything. You feel like you're playing you're doing like something for ages and it turns out it's been like 5 minutes because you're getting you spend like 20 minutes on on dialogue. The the story as nice as that story was that uh uh AZ was telling. It took way longer than it needed to. Uh, I just realized that this Kafagrigus is indeed a ghost type, and I did indeed send a psyche type out, so that wasn't the smartest move I've made today. But I'm like eight levels ahead of it, so if a Shadow Ball is going to kill me, that's bullshit. There we go. And of course, my special defense goes down. Okay. Oh, this game makes me sad. I'm going to go into Wendy. That's probably what I should have done to begin with, because I can't be hit by Shadow Ball since I'm a normal type. And uh, I don't think it's going to have anything to hit me, really. So I'm going to go for a Psychic and hope for the best. Maybe if I'm lucky, it won't have any moves. Or it'll get... F oh, I have the I have the King's Rock. I forgot about that. I was really confused why I flinched right there. An Ariados. Well, I'm just going to kill that. So, okay. I don't outspeed it, but it will probably... Yeah, okay. I love Ariados, but like, come on now. That's not a smart move. I'm going to... So, I'm going to level with you guys. I think after uh, our next series, we're going to try to avoid 3DS games for a hot minute. Because 3DS games kill me on the inside. I think, actually, I think out of all the 3DS games we've gotten for Pokemon games, Oros is like the only good one. Oros is the only good one in terms of pacing. Because it's impossible to ruin the pacing of Generation 3. Generation 3, you cannot ruin its pacing. Its pacing's good. Its pacing's well thought out. Um, even if I do speed up in that game, it, there's not going to be a bunch of unnecessary battles that you don't need to worry about. There's not going to be super long dialogue that's absolutely stupid. Um, I don't know. One, I know, like, I don't think there's a difference. I think if you press, like, either, I, I think if you, if, even if you stop it, one of them does start the, actually start the ultimate weapon. Um, but either way, he still activates the button. So yeah, but I refuse to let potential go to waste. I'll just use my remote. I was on. This guy sucks. I hate this guy. This guy is supposed to be like the the second in command, and you literally see him. Like I feel like he's supposed to be second in command. You literally see him this one time, and that's it. Now this is a very nice scene, like watching all this happen. But like. There's just so so much, just so much, just makes no sense in this game, how they decided to play things out, I just don't know. But either way, all I'm saying, Oros was the well, uh, best, like, pay, best paced uh, 3DS game, and it's quite literally only because it's a remake. X and Y took way too long, uh, and so did Sun and Moon and Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon did try to fix a lot of its pacing issues, didn't fix enough. The fact, like, the tutorial still feels like it takes longer than it needs to. That's just me, though. You know, I don't think... I don't think I ever had a problem with Sword and Shield's pacing. But again, Sword and Shield's managed to jump its way up to being tied for my favorite main game. So, could be biased. I don't know. But either way, I'm really... Like, on that subject, I'm actually really excited for the DLC, and I've been trying to work on it. I've been trying to work on the layout for the DLC, and my whole plan was, as soon as it was announced, my whole plan was to make a new layout for that DLC, um, like, when we start it. I have not been able to touch it because of everything that's been going on in life. Uh, I was expecting to have a lot more time to work on the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild DLC, or not DLC, layout, as well as um, the Sword and Shield one and uh, All-Star Lock, which will be returning very soon, hopefully. But again, haven't been able to work on it too much. Anywho, rambling is kind of over uh, at this point. It's almost been a half an hour of uh, recording. Not much has been done. I apologize for that. I'm going to try to get back into the swing of things. Um, I'm going to have hopefully a lot more energy uh, than I have had recently in terms of recording. Uh, and especially when I have those two weeks off. If they're like one thing I'm really trying to feel 
out for the, with these two weeks off is if I if I can tell that I'm a lot less stressed and I'm a lot if I have a lot more energy and I'm just a lot like more positive, happier, like that sounds messed up, but a lot happier while I'm on those two weeks off. I think that's a good sign about how, you know, things are working out with my job. Unfortunately, with how, like I said, with how things are going out in the world, that it, getting a new job is not something that I can, like, it's that easy to do. That isn't going to be a temporary one. So I don't know. I guess if I have to, worst case scenario, I deal with it uh, up until things get better. But I guess that's something that I'll keep you guys updated on just because like, I don't know. I, f I like I like to be able to uh, just talk to the camera. It's like my therapy, which is concerning and definitely not a healthy thing. But, you know, therapists are closed, apparently, in uh, in California. So it's not really much of an option for me. Anywho, things are getting a little dark right now. So we're going to call an episode here, you guys. Thank you all so much for watching. In the next episode, we will be taking on uh, the ultimate weapon, trying to stop Lysander from activating it, catching uh, whatever Yveltal is going to be randomized into, if it gets randomized at all. So we're going to end it here, you guys. Thank you all so much for watching. And if you guys enjoyed, make sure you do smash that like button. If you want to see more, make sure you subscribe, get the positive rant to PC Party. Share your friends, follow me on Twitter, PC Bumaster, join the Discord, link down below. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I'm PC Bumaster, and I'll see you guys next time.